wouldn't it be cool if I could make a solar powered a camping lamp called a HTEC solar charger? And rate, comment, more importantly, subscribe. <laughs> um, because there are many, many, many more interesting projects coming in the near future. Okay, I thought to myself, wouldn't it be cool if I could make a solar powered, a camping lamp that had lithium ion batteries in it and uh, some information about, you know, where the charge levels were at and that kind of stuff. So here's an old Peli case. Uh, it's a, um, a plastic see-through Peli case. These things are very, very durable, pretty solid and also watertight. They have a pressure release valve on the front of them. Um, and what I did is I, is I glued a, um, a solar panel into the top of it here. And uh, I also fitted uh, a, couple of, uh, a couple of lights in here. One, where's the camera? There it is, one on each end. And um, if we have a look inside, do, 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 sorry about the noise of the traffic. It must be that sort of six o'clock in the evening time. So inside, here's the solar cell uh, glued in. And uh, I th there's a diode behind the tape here, a couple of wires, one red, one black, obviously. Um, and uh, there are two sets of lithium ion batteries, and these are in parallel. So there's two series batteries in parallel, effectively. And then here, this is the interesting bit. Let me just zoom in for you. Do, 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 do. Where's the camera? There it is. And here, here is um, a OLED display connected to an Arduino Nano with um, a, um, a battery management system and a charge uh, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a charge pump, uh, which will allow you to plug in various things and charge them. So you could keep a you could keep a cable in this little empty hole here and all the rest of it. So let's turn it on. Boom, okay, you can't see the lights lit at the moment, but you can now see the uh, HTEC. This is quite amusing. Ever since I was a kid, I was like, Howard Taylor Electronics and Computers. So it's called a HTEC solar charger. And you can see there on the screen, um, the battery is at 3.7 or so volts. And uh, the cells are 82% charged. And if you put it on charge, it will be full in approximately 10 days. Uh, and the on time is shown here in minutes. So uh, yeah, it's an interesting little project. And uh, let me just zoom out again, Do -do -do, wrong way. There we go, zooming out. And there you go, you can see the two uh, super bright, uh, high intensity LEDs um, uh, pumping out oodles and oodles of light for your camping pleasure. So yeah, it's quite a cool little bad boy. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you around this thing. All right, just for fun, I've got my hat and glasses on. Don't forget the safety gear. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, this bad boy and the code for it, uh, I'll put the code for it um, in a link. Maybe I'll put it on GitHub and uh, you guys can take a look at it there um, and adjust it and tweak it if you want to. Maybe I can upload new code to it at some point. But uh, the deal is, um, if it's interesting to anybody, uh, let me know and I'll get more detailed about the descriptions and we'll pull it apart and you know uh, do a proper job of, of, of looking inside it um, rate comment more importantly subscribe <laughs> um, because there are many 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 more interesting projects coming in the near future